It's oozing out so much. I put too much chocolate in this. What is up, my beautiful momars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna be playing with the chocolate bar maker. Yeah. <laughs> I've never played with one of these before, but I saw them all over online, and I know when you guys love when I do these little DIYs. So, today, we're gonna make our own chocolate bars. Look at what's inside of here. All these awesome molds, all these different things. I don't even know what this does, but this looks really awesome. Well, what are these for? Okay. I'm gonna make four different kinds of chocolate. Two delicious and two disgusting. Or maybe it's delicious too. I don't know. Let's see what happens. All right, so the first step is to make your actual chocolate. It comes with like a little squeezer thing right here. So we can actually go ahead, put this down, and add chocolate to this. So I have a bunch of milk chocolate little chips right here that I'm gonna put in here. All you have to do, I guess, is just fill it like that. Then we're gonna take it to the microwave. And now I'm gonna microwave it for about 40 seconds. One eternity later. After you have microwaved it for about 40 seconds, it should be all melty and beautiful like that. Stir it a little bit just to make sure everything is all melted and incorporated inside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the top right here and we can almost begin our chocolate making journey. And you can open this, ooh, that's so chocolatey. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that looks beautiful. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna make sure I get it on the sides, fill up this whole thing with chocolate. All right, so for these two ones, they actually have these inserts you can put in it, and they come with it right here, so you can actually have different kinds of fillings that are like liquid fillings, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here, just like this, and squeeze them up and push it all the way to the bottom. So now that the chocolate fills those up, we can actually actually let these cool. So I'm gonna put this one in here too. This is gonna create a cavity so I can fill up with other things that are like liquidy. So I'm gonna use this as a cavity mold and I'm gonna put these in the fridge. All right, for the next two I have are these cool yellow molds right here. I'm gonna just start by filling the bottom. Come on, chocolate. Hey, chocolate. Hey, I'm out of chocolate. One eternity later. Fill this with chocolate, just like this. Then I'm gonna grab a spoon and I'm gonna just smooth out the bottom. Just make it nice and flat and flush because it was just like a lot of chocolate right there. I'm just putting some on the edges too, just in case. All right, so what I'm gonna use to fill my chocolate on the delicious side, I have fruity pebbles, these awesome sticko things that taste like strawberry, mini marshmallows, hot Cheetos, of course, and sprinkles. On the nasty side, the bean boozled, I mean, it could be delicious, I don't know what it's gonna taste like, mustard, cuttlefish ink, Oh, that smells so bad. <laughs> okay, so for the first one I'm making, it's gonna be a bean boozled one. So right here we have all our chocolate inside already. I'm just gonna put them in here. That could be the most disgusting things ever. But if that wasn't disgusting enough, I'm gonna add a little mustard there too on top of it. Mustard and bean boozled. On this side, I'm gonna grab mini marshmallows and put that right inside of it. That looks better already. Goodbye, Fruity Pebbles Marshmallows. See you guys later. I can pick any of these cool molds. These are all like the cool bottoms of it. So, ooh, that one's a heart one. It's oozing out so much. I put too much chocolate in this. It's okay, guys, we can fix this. Great. All right, so I'm gonna set that one aside while I finish this last one. Ooh, I like that design. That's like a waffle design. I'm gonna put that for this ending. Put that right in the top and just squeeze it down. Oh gosh, chocolate's all over my fingers. Oh no, the mustard's coming up now. Oh no. Okay, we're done. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge for about one hour now. All right, it's been 30 minutes now and I took these chocolates out of the fridge. Look at that, there's like cool little indents on the inside of them. Now I'm gonna take my cuttlefish ink. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this ink. Why am I doing this? Oh gosh, it's so like gelatinous and thick. Oh my gosh, I mean, you guys can smell this right now. It's like fish times a thousand. Oh my goodness. Oh. And we're gonna start to cover this whole thing with more chocolate. For the second one that's long, I'm gonna go ahead and take my sticko, and I'm gonna have to crush them up a little bit because it's like kind of big. This is a strawberry sticko. I'm gonna break it up, put it right there in the center of it. Ooh, nice little hot Cheeto sticko crumbs. I don't know what this combination is. There's strawberry, there's hot Cheeto, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my chocolate and just go ahead and cover this bad boy up. Yeah, oh gosh, that's a lot of chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and 
and squish this over the top just like this and get any excess chocolate. This is gonna help to get all the air bubbles out and evenly coat everything you have by pushing all the chocolate through. So you just wanna do this to all your chocolate bars and just keep slamming it on the table. So I'm gonna take my chocolate bars and put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. All right guys, it's been 30 minutes now and they are rock solid. You can hear them like if you tap it, they're ready to come out of their shells. So I'm gonna start off by opening the yellow ones first. I just wanna be gentle, I don't wanna break my chocolate. Okay. Then I push it forward. Up, uh, up, uh, whoa. <laughs> it just comes out as a cool chocolate bar like this. Like, what the, okay. Whoa, wait, this one looks fine too. <laughs> wow. Now it's time to open the red ones. Come on, don't break. Ooh, what? That looks so cool. It has like the little indent so you can like share them if you wanted to. This is the squid ink one. I'm gonna put that right here. This is the hot Cheeto sticko one. Oh, wow, that one's so pretty. Who knew you could just make chocolate bars instantaneously? These came out so nice. Like, look at this one. I can break this off right here and share it with my friends. I mean, I wouldn't share this yet unless I was trying to prank somebody. Give this like 10,000 likes and maybe I'll prank someone with making them like cuttlefish chocolate. But of course, I'm gonna try it first. We are back now and it is time for me to try my DIY chocolate maker. I made these chocolate bars. I've never made a chocolate bar in my life. These are the first chocolate bars I have made. All right, you know what? I'm gonna start out with this one. I see some yellow in it and I think it's the bean boozled one. Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I got mustard and then there's bean boozled and then there's. <sighs> I cannot eat any more of that. I'm gonna put that one away. Like, look at it, I had to spit it out. All right, to offset that one a little bit, I'm gonna eat one that tastes good, which is gonna be the marshmallow cereal. Please, I hope no one like changed this one and put mustard in it. I'm like scared now. I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this one is delicious. See, we got marshmallow, we got fruity pebble in there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome combination for chocolate bars. The crunchiness of the fruity pebbles, the gushiness of the marshmallows, this is a fantastic combination, oh my goodness. Now, it's time to try another chocolate bar I made. This one is the Squid Ink, Squid Ink Mustard chocolate bar. I'm just gonna stay away from the mustard because we already know that's bad. What if squid ink and chocolate is good? We gotta try it. Let's find out. I can't really smell the squid ink anymore, so maybe that taste will go away. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite out of this one now. Let me see if I can even break one. And break one. Ooh. Oh, you can see the mustard on the inside. All right, I'm gonna break this one. Let's see if you can see the chocolate. Oh, no, you can only see a little bit of the squid ink in that one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try the squid ink chocolate bar. Squid ink, oh my goodness, this is worse than I thought it would be. Oh, that was so disgusting. That was like the fishiest chocolate ever. That was worse than the nasty sushi gummy thing I ate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the squid is just like so powerful. The fish is so strong, it's just like. All right guys, so the last one is gonna be the Hot Cheetos Sticko one. The Sticko was one of my favorite snacks when I was younger. Hot Cheetos is one of my favorite snacks when I was younger, so let's find out if this is gonna be good or not. What if it's disgusting? But it can't be worse than cuttlefish ink, right? Let's, let's go. This is interesting, right? Okay, I approve, this one is good. You taste strawberry, and then you taste spiciness, then you taste chocolatey. That is so good, and it looks so beautiful on the outside. Just look at the outside of that. You can make any kind of chocolate bar you ever wanted to make. If you ever dreamed of making a chocolate bar, I just made a squid ink one. You can make like an egg one. You can even make a ketchup one. You can make anything you want. I'm so happy I get to have this now, so if you get the chocolate maker, don't put squid ink in it. All right guys, if you guys love hot Cheetos, if you guys love squid ink, and if you guys love chocolate, give this video like 25,000 thumbs up. Leave a comment below, leave things. I should make more chocolate bars out of. Maybe if I should prank someone with them? I don't know. Leave that in the comments below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. <gasps> Peace!